Hi guys, how are you today? Well, today I will make yet another widescreen patch video. And hopefully this will be the last video. I hope, I really hope so. <laughs> but so many people are still asking me just how to patch uh, Twilight Menu widescreen. And I do want to make sure this video, I will do it from a scratch. I mean, I haven't installed Twilight Menu. I haven't installed a TW patch on my 3DS yet. And I will do it uh, in front of you guys so you can uh, make sure that you are doing it right. So uh, first up, when we want to install Twilight Menu, right now we must download universaludater.js. And of course, we will also download the TW patcher. Uh, well, the latest chia should be 2021 uh, February. Uh, we can also get this from the universal uh, updater, but uh, from my perspective, uh, this one is newer. So let's download this. And after you download, you will get uh, two file, twpad.chia and universalupdater.chia. Just put it on your SD card. And now let us go to our 3DS. Okay, now let us go to our 3DS. Uh, I already installed both of the files, just install using FBI. Uh, I hope you already uh, used to using FBI. And after you install Universal Updater, you will you just open it. And let us find the Twilight Menu, uh, well, Twilight Menu uh, Installer. Okay, now let us go to our uh, toilet menu. As you can see here, uh, it already have the latest version on, on this universal updater. Just install it. Install the st stable version. Now, the waiting game <laughs> will commence. So, uh, we will wait until the toilet menu install finish and I will skip this video ahead. After you finish installing, just quit your universal updater. Let us close it. Now we should, uh, okay. Now we should have a uh, toilet menu and toilet menu patch installed. Before you start patching or uh, starting the toilet menu, now let us turn off our 3DS. Turn on while, while pressing select button to enter your Luma uh, menu. Uh, and press A to enable loading external firm and modules. This is very important because well, many people have many errors. Be, be, uh, they didn't do this before uh, playing and uh, doing patching with the toilet menu. After you're done, just press uh, start. To save and restart. Now let us wait. I'm sorry for the, well, the scratchy screen. This is my new 3DS, as you can see. Lovely, lovely, but the screen is very scratchy. <laughs> okay, after you make sure you are doing uh, the right thing with the Luma setting, now let us start uh, the toilet menu just to make sure that the toilet menu are uh, running just fine. The first run always take the longest, uh, so we just wait until it's done. I will not skip this first run uh, because I just want to show you guys just how long toilet menu uh, <laughs> really need to go on the first run. Well, it takes quite a long time actually. And if it takes too long, just close your 3DS. 
open it again. Voila, it's starting. <laughs> okay. As you can see here, the toilet menu running just fine. Okay, uh, this toilet menu running, uh, well, uh, nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I haven't installed any game in here, so uh, nothing wrong. Just let us uh, quit the toilet menu. And now let us uh, start patching our toilet menu with toilet menu patch, DW patch. Uh, before we go, we must uh, choose what we what we like as our uh, default patch. I, re I always use linear sharpen one because well, uh, you can see here uh, well this look the best at least in my eye. So after you do that, just press Y then B, and then you choose white screen patch. Just press A to toggle the selected patch. Let's go uh, back by pressing B, and now we will start. We will start by uh, holding start button. Now we will wait until the patch uh, finish. Of course, I will not skip this. Uh, well, I will not skip this patch. I will put on some songs maybe. After we finish, let us go back by pressing select to exit and it should be done but <laughs> I do need games to test it so okay see you after I put some games in here. Now after I put the games let us start our toilet menu. If everything goes well well, <laughs> as you can see, I already have the widescreen patch uh, installed, even on the splash screen. So if you fail, please do a repatch by uh, going to TW patch and press start again to repatch your toilet menu. But with the latest toilet menu and the latest toilet menu patch, you should be working fine on the first run. Now let us go. I already put two games here. Uh, one game, Solato Robo, already, uh, well, already, uh, well, it is, what can I say? Well, it is uh, supported for the widescreen pads. Uh, of course, on the first run, uh, toilet menu must uh, create a RAM dump file, so dump file, so we must wait uh, for that.
Now, as you can see, here's a lot of robo run just fine. But let us start the game. Uh, this is very cru crucial because Solato Robo uh, well, uh, in-game video are using the game itself, not using a real video. So we can see here if uh, everything works fine. As you can see, the widescreen pad really are working because uh, nothing is stretched. So this is on the right uh, resolution. Okay, everything works just fine and I hope you are satisfied. But uh, let us start uh, another game. Uh, why? Because uh, unlike Solato Robo, uh, Yoshi Island haven't, <laughs> well, Yoshi Island uh, didn't get the official uh, support for the widescreen patch. What will happen if uh, we, well, if we play uh, unsupported uh, games, the screen will be stretched, but uh, nothing wrong with that, just uh, we will try it. Now let us start Yoshi Island DS. Again, I must tell you, uh, Yoshi Island is not supported with toilet menu patch. Uh, which game is supported or not? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I will put the link down below so you can see which game are supported, which game are not. If you look closely, the game itself uh, runs just fine, but well, the, the screen is stretched. How do you know? Well, <laughs> well I already play. Uh, I play this game without uh, the toilet menu patch, so the the Yoshi is a bit fatter, as you can see, and the Mario Baby Mario is a bit healthier. <laughs> okay. Now I want to let you know just how to. Uh, turn off the white screen without uh, well without removing the patch it is quite easy just go to your toilet menu setting press select Press the icon down here. Now let us go to miscellaneous setting. Uh, just uh, use the. <laughs> I know this is counterintuitive, but uh, use just choose the other screen aspect ratio. If you put it on four uh, by three, just put it on the white screen, and voila! After you press the toilet menu on down here, it should go uh, well. Uh, normal screen not white screen as you can see it will go with normal screen again and of course if you want to go back just press select again and go to Michelin setting and put it on 4x3 uh, I know that it's not it is really counterintuitive but that's <laughs> how you redo your white screen patch just press, uh, just use four, uh, four by three, and press the toilet menu setting again. Toilet menu plus plus on the below, I mean. And the white screen should be there. Okay, that's it. That's it, guys. Uh, see you again. Bye bye. And hopefully, this is the last video for the white screen. <laughs>